I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to solve an equation involving fractions. So let's write down the equation clearly which is 3x plus 4 plus x minus 5 over 3 equals to half. Now the strategy here is to get rid of fractions and how can you do that? For that, you need to find the lowest common denominator. So the strategy is to find lowest common denominator. The numbers are 4, 3 and 12. So for these numbers, lowest common denominator is 12, right? Now to make each denominator as 12, what should you do? For the first one, you need to multiply that by 3. For the second one, you need to multiply that by 4. And for the last one, you need to multiply that by 6 correct so let's do that so we are doing 6 by 6 the last one for this one we are multiplying by 4 and for this one we are multiplying by 3 by 3 so when I write 3 by 3 it is as good as multiplying by 1 and so you should understand we are not changing the equation it remains exactly the same equation but the difference is now we have an equation with same base that is kind of important so I'm adding this step and just showing you when you multiply you get 9x over 12 plus 4 times now don't just multiply x with 4 minus 5 should also be multiplied by 4 both should be multiplied over 12 is equal to 6 over 12 do you see that so in doing so we get something which has the same base as you know in fractions if you have the same base you can combine the numerators right now and now at this stage what you can do is you can multiply all these numbers by 12 right so we can multiply all these numbers by 12 now if I do that I'm doing the same operation in all the sides then the denominators get cancelled off do you see that so effectively we are left with the equation which could be written as 9x plus 4 times x minus 5 equals to 6. Now this equation does not have any fraction part and it's like a linear equation which you could solve. Perfect. So that is how you should be solving uh, these equations with fractions. Well there are a few shortcuts that is I multiplied by 3 over 3, 4 over 4 and 6 over 6. Instead, we could have multiplied this equation itself by 12 and got the same result. So that is also fine. But my purpose of showing these steps is to make things very clear. Now let us expand this and simplify. So we have 9x plus 4 times x minus 4 times 5 is 20 equals to 6. Correct? So we can bring all the terms to the same side and then solve. So let me rewrite this equation after combining 9x and 4x. So 9x plus 4x is 13x. We have 13x minus 20 equals to 6. Now we can add 20 on both the sides. So we get 13x. When you add 20 here, it becomes 0. So we get equals to 6 plus 20, right? So we have 13x equals to 26 we can divide by 13 so we get x equals to 26 over 13 which is equals to 2 so x equals to 2 is our solution right so we say solution is x equals to 2 it's always a good idea to check your solution right so at times you may be required to check in the question also so to check substitute 2 in the left side so if you put 2 here then what do you get you get 2 times 3 which is 6 so what I'm trying to say is you can substitute 2 here right plus 2 minus 5 over 3 and see what you get so you get 2 times 3 is 6 6 over 4 plus 2 minus 5 is minus 3 over 3 so which is equal to 6 over 4 is fraction 3 over 2 minus 1 which is indeed equal to half so half is your right side is it okay so your solution is correct 
so you can also check if required perfect so i hope with this you understand the steps to solve this particular equation thank you and all the best